Block, warm up! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Warm up! And shake out. Ooh. Oh, that is one big theatre. Feeling nervous? A little. There are such a lot of different gifts to remember. <laughs> the 12 days of Christmas is easy. The numbers go up by one each time. You just need to count up to 12. That's me. And I'll be backstage making sure the show runs like clockwork. You'll see. Come on, team. The match, I mean, the show is about to start. Get ready for kickoff. Oh. No worries, Ron. You'll be fine. Cyril, what are you doing here? Letting everyone in, of course. Can't have a show with no audience. Zero! Zero doors! <laughs> Sorry, this seat's taken. Whoops, okay. Shh, shh, it's starting. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me oh. a partridge in a pear tree. Partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two turtle doves. One, two, coo, coo. And a partridge in a pear tree. Is that meant to happen? Ho, ho, ho. On the 
third day of Christmas my true love sent to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Do you mind? This is my verse. No, but... On the fourth day of Christmas my true love sent to me four calling birds. What's happening? Three French hens! Hey, too many gifts! And a partridge in a pear tree. So much for twelve running things like clockwork. Maybe I should go and... On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me... Everybody! Five gold rings! Four calling birds! Round things on the run! Three French hens! Two turtle doves! And a partridge! In a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. Wait, stop, don't! Six geese are laying. Here's where they're staying. <gasps> Five gold rings. Fence. Four calling birds. Oh. Twelve, there's. Wow. One, you're meant to be on stage. <gasps> and a partridge in a pear tree. Oof, oof, oof. Oof. Sorry. Seven, come back! Twelve, something's going wrong! What do you mean? Everything's running like clockwork. There goes train six, train seven is on stage. Seven, swans are swimming. Oh, lovely! And here comes train eight. Ready to load! Oh, look! Five gold rings! Four gold birds. Ha. That was lucky. We're sending out the right number of gifts, I'm sure of it. But too many are turning up. Just a few at first, but now... <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. Right, let's try and work this out. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eight maids are milking. Oh, there's room for eight more gifts, but there are also seven swans are swimming. Seven more swans. Octoblock, catch! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh, oopsie! Six geese are laying. Stay here, one. I'll cover for you. I worked it out. The song is right. The number of gifts is right. It's the tree that's wrong. What do you mean? Well, on the ninth day, you get nine new gifts. Nine ladies dancing. Hope it's a square dance. Oh. You also get another eight maids and seven swans and six geese and five gold rings. And four calling birds and three hens and two doves and... <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. Phew! That's a whole tree full of extra gifts every day. <gasps> oh, tree full? That's it! We don't need fewer gifts, we need more trees! Ten lots of leaping! Nine ladies dancing. Does this song never end? Eight maids are milking. So at the end of the day, it's a whole new tree. Exactly! I'll get a squad on it. He's a And a partridge in a pear tree. Bob's using your head too. Which where's one got to? On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love said to me, eleven pipers piping, get in. Quick, give me a hand. Ten with a leaping. Would you look at that? Nine ladies dancing. We caught them all. Oh. Eight maids are milking. Don't let go. Seven swans are swimming. Ready now. Six geese are laying. Five. Five Four calls for help. Three flailing friends. Too late now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and a part which fell off our tree. Want it? 
Yes, there's still one more verse to sing. Yay! Just give us a moment to get ready so we can do it properly. The second day of Christmas The third And the fourth And the fifth day of Christmas On the sixth And the seventh And the eighth And the ninth On the tenth And eleventh day of Christmas On the twelfth day of Christmas My true love sent to me <gasps> Twelve dramas drumming Eleven pipers piping Ten lords are leaping Nine ladies dancing Eight maids are milking Seven swans are swimming Six geese are laying Five gold rings Four calling birds Three French hens Two turtle doves And a portrait in a pear tree oh! And zero Christmas trees oh! Oh! There's nothing like a little Christmas magic. <laughs> Merry Christmas, one and all! Merry Christmas, everybody! Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh, phew, it's cold up here. Uh, keep going, everybody. We're near the top of Blocky Mountain. Oh, if we're really lucky, we might spot the legendary Big Tum. Ha! A big hairy monster with a big hairy tummy who loves puzzles? Don't be silly, Seven. Yum! <gasps> what was that? Yum! <gasps> big Tom! Yum, yum! Who's in my tum? Who's in? Wait, is one of us missing? Uh, huh? Uh, no. uh... Everyone call out your number. One, two, three, Yum. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um. Oh. Um. <gasps> Where's four? Four's missing. Four's in your tum. <laughs> yum, yum. Well done. <laughs> Are you feeling okay, Four? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. It was warm and snuggly in Big Tom's Tum. <gasps> oh, oh, there you go. Go. <laughs> Come and get me. Game on. Coming. Ready or not? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Nine. Nice smooth snow. Look. <laughs> Oh! Yum, yum! <gasps> Who's in my tum? Nine! Oh no! Where are you? It was me! I was nine! And Big Tum gobbled up some of my blocks! How many? I don't know. I had my eyes shut. <laughs> oh, I know! Here goes! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, nine was here. Then some of his blocks were taken away, and that left you three, which means nine minus yum equals three. So, what's missing? Hmm. Come over here, three. Hey! Brr. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. There! So that's what's missing. Nine minus six equals three. And six is in your tum. Yum, yum. Well done. Hooray! <laughs> It's good to be back. <laughs> Where are the others? <laughs> Up to Blocky's Ledge! <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Everybody stay close. No need to panic. Oh. Um... 
What's wrong, friends? Why don't you... Oh, they're made of snow. Snow. Oh. <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Who's in my tum? <laughs> That's easy. The real one, two, three and four. No, they're all together now. <laughs> so what do they make when they're all together? <gasps> one plus two plus three plus four equals... Yum. Let's try adding the snow blocks together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten snow blocks. So one plus two plus three plus four equals ten. There's a ten in your tum. Yum, yum, well done. <laughs> <laughs> It's nippy out. Much warmer inside. Oh, oh. Can we all come in until it stops snowing, please? No problem. <laughs> and plenty of room for you, too. <laughs> Skating! Double figure skating! Two sixteens! Four eights! Octoblock dance spin! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Dance spin! Four eights! Eight fours! This dance. Sixteen twos, thirty-two ones. <laughs> Sixteen twos, eight fours, four eights, two sixteens, one thirty-two. Woohoo! <gasps> Sixteens! Eights! Fours! Twos! <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman?
are double the fun. <laughs> Hurry up, too. If we don't catch the train, we might miss the talent show. But it's such a lovely day. Just give me a second. A second. How long is a second? A moment to start. A beat of the heart. A step on the way. Second, stop for a second. The sun is up high, straight up in the sky. Today is my day. We'll ride the train to the edge of the sea. Where we'll dance together, my best friend and me. But for now, come on, we have to go. A moment, I'll only take a moment. The day is too fine, so I'll take my time for a moment. For time is a train on a one-way track, and this is a moment I won't get back. No! It's nearly one o'clock! We have to catch our train! Oh no! We're too late! If I can stop the clock, Maybe I can stop the train. Uh, oh. That's not how it works. You... Whoa! <laughs> oh, we missed the train. Is there another one we can catch? Maybe. But with the clock broken, we can't tell when any train leaves. Well, I broke it, so I should fix it. But how does a clock work? There's these two pointy things. And lots of numbers, starting at 1 and going all the way around to 12. Did someone call? <laughs> Looks like you could use a hand learning how to tell the time. After all, you can't be on time if you don't know what time it is. Thanks, 12. Where do I start? Well, I said you could use a hand. In fact, you can use two. The two hands of the clock. These are hands? There's a big hand. And a little one. <laughs> and as we know, little ones can be very important. The little hand is called the hour hand. It shows you what hour it is. <laughs> like this. It starts at full height and moves round to the right. Like the sun in the sky at midday. Like the sun, it won't stop as it moves round the clock. And we count every hour on the way. And now it's four and a bit, four and a bit. The hour is the last big number that you passed. Five and a bit, five and a bit. It's a short hand for telling the time. Six and a bit, six and a bit. Halfway round and starting to climb. Seven and a bit, seven and a bit. As the day moves on towards night. Thanks, 12. And 12. You're welcome. We could keep this up all day. And all night. <laughs> 24 hours a day. So the hour hand is saying that the time now is one... And a bit. And that bit is the number of minutes, which is what the big hand counts. Hello, 60. So the big hand is the minute hand? Yes, and the big thing to remember is that 60 is... 12 lots of 5. Roll out the big band to explain the big hand. Look close at the clock and you'll see. Between every number are five little marks. So come along and count them with me. 
One minute, two minutes, three, four, five. One lot of five is five. Then here come five more, and the big hand arrives at two lots of five. Ten, ten minutes as we reach number three. It's easy to see. Three lots of five. Fifteen. The secret is counting in fives. That's the key. Four lots of five. Or Twenty. What's the minute hand dance as the minutes advance? Five lots of five. Twenty-five. You can work out the minutes you need at a glance. Six lots of five. Thirty. Now the hour's half past, so we move up at last. Seven lots of five. Thirty-five. Counting in fives, you can work it out fast. Eight lots of five. Forty. Keep on and keep going, there's no time for slowing. Nine lots of five. Forty-five. Five at a time's how these numbers are growing. Ten lots of five. Fifty. Come on, I and rock all the way around this clock. Eleven lots of five. Fifty-five. At sixty we stop, cause we're back to the top. Then we start again all over from zero. While minutes raced around the face, the hour hand moved on. And if you put both hands together, reading one and then the other, you can tell the time. Oh, oh. <laughs> so the little hand, the hour hand, tells you what hour it is. And the big hand, the minute hand, tells you the minutes of the hour. Say the hours, then the minutes, and that's what time it is. <gasps> So that big two there, for the hour hand, means it's two o'clock. Two and a bit. And for the minute hand, means it's two lots of five minutes. And two fives are ten. So this clock says two ten. Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! <gasps> I can do it! I can tell the time! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well done, two. I'll get this clock back to the right time. And you might like to know, there's an express train on Platform 2, leaving at 1.15. <gasps> an express train? Then we can still make it to the talent contest. And the time now is 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. One fourteen. Our train leaves in one minute. A minute, how long is a minute? As soon as you begin it, it's ticking away. Each tick and each tock is a second. The 60 to check on my blocky display. 50, it's time to get nifty. We need to move swiftly to catch that express. Let's hurry, come on and let's scurry. I'm starting to worry, we'll have no success. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. 12 hours from midday to midnight, 12 from midnight to midday. Halfway! A minute, how long is a minute? No matter how you spin it, it isn't that long. So brief, you could just paint a leaf. Or eat a small peach. Or sing a short song. Together, each, each minute's, minute's a treasure. treasure. We're sharing forever. Whatever the news, we'll make it. I know we can take it, but, but let's not mistake, mistake it. There's, There's no time to lose. lose. 12 hours from Nine, midday to eight, midnight 12 seven, from midnight six, to midday five, 60 four, minutes in three, an hour And two, now we must one, get underway <laughs> Goodbye! <laughs> Just in time for the two o'clock talent contest. Great! Now what shall we sing? Hmm. <laughs> and now it's two and a bit, two and a bit. Two lots of five is ten. Two, ten! ten. Twelve hours from midday to midnight. Twelve from midnight to midday. Sixty minutes in an hour. And now we're on our way. sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. Chapter 6. Skips and Tricks. I am six in the mix. Time for rhymes and skips and tricks. Count my blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm six, you see. This up here means six as well. 
And I love games, as you can tell. Let's roll. Six. Six tricks coming up quick. One trick, two tricks, three tricks, four tricks, five tricks, six tricks. Yay! Yay! Oh, can I join in? Oh, oh six plus one equals... Seven, and I feel lucky. Chapter seven, falling on my feet. Fancy meeting you up here. That's lucky. I'm seven. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blocks. Oh, how funny. That cloud is red. And here comes orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Watch this. Eight. This is great. Chapter eight. The secret story of Octoblock. Once, eight was just an ordinary mild-mannered number with eight blocks. And that means eight as well. But one day, eight was tickled by a radioactive octopus. <laughs> it gave me special powers. So if anyone needs help, they can call on Octoblock to the rescue. Octoblock catch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Catch. Eight. Plus one equals nine. I am nine and I feel fine. Chapter nine. Sneeze a jolly good fellow. Hello. I am nine. I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need some help, nine? Is anything wrong? Achoo! Eight plus one equals, equals nine. Nine Achoo! minus one equals eight. Eight plus one equals, equals nine. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> See how you like it. Hup. Nine plus one equals ten. Say it again. I am ten. Chapter ten: The Space Race. Ten here, ready for takeoff. Commencing countdown of my ten blocks. Ten, nine, eight. Oh. oh dear. Calm down, everyone. We'll just use the backup rocket. I'm 110, which means I'm also 10 ones. So it's one small step for 10. One giant leap for 10 ones! Hooray! 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last <laughs> And they all lived happily ever after. <sighs> if you're sitting comfortably, then I'll begin. Chapter 16. A six walks into a ten. Ow! <laughs> now it's time to introduce you to an act who will amuse you. She knows how to make a scene. Give it up now for 16! And hi, Tam. There's 16. Right here! I'm 16! Let's get this party started! It's nice to be here! And here, and here, and here! Oh, look at that! I'm a square turning round! <laughs> hey! You know what Nine's favourite story is? Goldilocks and the three squares! <laughs> square! <laughs> 
And if you're after a square deal, here I am. I'm a square. Made of squares. With a... <gasps> a square in the middle. <laughs> Chapter 17. Portrait of the artist in his prime. I'll do 17 here. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint a self-portrait. Here goes. <laughs> oh, deary me. That's 17 self-portraits. Let's try again. I'm 10 and 7. So, if I paint 10 and then 7... Oh, 17 of each. Oh, I'm never going to get this right. Take some deep breaths. One. <gasps> That's it. One. Stay there. And there, and there, and there, and there, 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 there. Seventeen ones, which makes one seventeen. Pretty as a picture. Chapter 18. Full speed ahead! Extreme 14 here, reporting live on a cool attempt to be the fastest number ever. Rocket 10, ready to fire. Two, four, six, eight. Super speedy, don't be late. Did somebody say speed? 18, speed machine. One ray and away. Whoa! Wanna see me go faster? Two rays and away. Three rays and away. Six. was a speedy escape. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 19. Flex ability. I'm 19. When I try to make a rectangle, I'm always one block off. Oh, but who needs rectangles when you can make shapes like these? <sighs> so many shapes. So versatile. The plant pot, the helicopter, lovely. Letting us see the ten and the nine there, <laughs> magnificent. Finishing with the horse. I'm a one-off. I go my own way. Chapter 20, Making Friends. Hello, I'm ten. I'm another ten. Let's be friends. I'm 20, and I'm good at making friends. I'm a 10-pack of two. Thank you, Numberland. And... Good night. Sweet dreams, all of you. <sighs> Oh, what is that? Only the most incredible invention of all time. A time machine. It can send you back to the moment you woke up this morning. Or your last holiday. Or any time you can imagine. Could it send me back to when I had three scoops of ice cream? It could. Once my assistant brings me the time regulator, the machine won't work properly without it. He should be here uh, any minute now. Where is he? <gasps> One fifty-eight. That's only two minutes to two. I have to get to the clock tower. Oh, nearly forgot the time regulator. <gasps> Does anyone want to play seesaw? <laughs> Can't stop. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like a storm is coming. Run for cover, dude! Hi, there. Don't say it. Teen. It's heavy. Good job, Squares are strong. 
I should have left more time. There you are! Hurry! It's going to... I've got the time regulator! Where did 64 go? When did she go, more like? 64 has fallen through time. Whoa! Just like before, I've travelled back in time. That gives me a second chance to get this to 64 before the lightning strikes. Does anyone want to play? Oh! Sounds like a storm is coming. Yes, I know. I need to get to the clock tower fast. Can I borrow your skateboard? Go for it, dude. Ooh, roundings. Ooh. Oh, sorry, 13. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Good job, Squares. Oh, oh, excuse me. Sixty-four. Look out! I've got the time regulator. Where did 64 go? She's fallen through time. Again. <laughs> I blew my second chance. But here's a second second chance. <laughs> oh, here I go again. Oh. Octoblock Sprint! Wahey! 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 Aha! Nicely balanced. <laughs> Sounds like a storm is coming. Yes, I know. Could I borrow your skateboard? Go for it! <laughs> Octoblock Speed! One, two! Huh? Actually, Octoblock Jump! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, eight. No problem, thirteen. Whoa, hmm. Whoa. octa break. Ali oop. Huh. Coming through. Sixty-four. Stop. I have the time regulator. Catch. Where did 64 go? Oh, eight seven six five four three two one. Whoa! I'm all in a spin, <laughs> but still not fast enough. Ready or not, here I come! Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. Hey. <laughs> again, again! Looks like fun! Oh no, no time to lose! Oh. Oh. Sounds like a storm, yes! Skateboard, please! Thank you! <laughs> Check out that 4x4! Four four. Mind out! Square coming through! <gasps> A square made of squares. <gasps> hey, you never said thirteen. <laughs> it's heavy. Good job, squares are strong. I know, right? <gasps> <gasps> Square in the town square. <gasps> when the clock strikes two, a bolt of lightning will hit the tower. You need to fit the time regulator now. Great. Where is it? 
Um, funny story. I forgot to pick it up. Where did 64 go? Don't forget the regulator and don't forget the regulator and don't forget the... <laughs> <laughs> Double time, double quick. <laughs> double back. Gotcha! <laughs> up, up, and away! Yes, there's a storm coming. May I borrow your skateboard? Thank you. <laughs> Best seesaw ever. <laughs> Times. Quickly, fit the time regulator. <laughs> Where did 64 go? There's only one person who can answer that. <laughs> Scott, there's not a moment to lose. What are you doing here? How long have you got? Two went back in time, meaning there were two twos that made four, and then... <laughs> you know, sometimes I talk too much. But at least I can stop myself from doubling back. Delivery for 64, right on time. For me? But I didn't order anything. Surprise! What? 64, but how? Simple. The time machine sent me back to yesterday, and I arranged to have myself delivered here at precisely 2 o'clock today. Hooray! Hooray! And now that regulator's fitted, we can go anywhere and any when we like. Come on, two. The last time we were here, one. Yes, you asked what if, and the what ifer appeared. And oh, wait, wait, wait! What's a what ifer? Now that's an interesting question. What is a what ifer? The best way to find out is to ask me a question. What sort of question? A question like this What if you kept on counting forever? It would earn the admiration of your friends You might make it to a million in a fortnight But how high could you get if forever never ends? What if you kept writing zeros after one? It's the same as if you multiply by ten Pretty soon you'd reach a million again What then? What then? What if you start with a single grain of rice And double it, double it, double it every day In a week, you'd have no more than a handful In a month, you'd be giving it away Stop the rice! Please stop the rice! What if the rice stopped? Interesting question. Ask me another. What if one could be divided into pieces? <laughs> Smaller parts like the slices of a cake. You could cut it into four or eight or sixteen. But is there any end to the fractions you could make? What if we tried to build a tower to the moon? Would it take a hundred years to reach the top? So you might not want to think about the drop. Huh? 
don't stop, don't stop. What if the number blocks each had a different name? Like New Fling Club. Fling T Bun. The amount you'd have to count would be no different. But you'd have to learn new words for everyone. New plus fling plus pop equals fun! What if three was the highest you could count to? <laughs> it's a question that could tie you up in nuts. Ugh. Counting sheep to get to sleep could be quite tricky. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Plenty <laughs> many rocks. <laughs> What if the number blocks all disappeared one day? Would one and two and three still equal six? You could count it using pebbles, blobs or bricks. Or sticks. Good fix. What if there could be a number less than zero? You could draw it on a line to understand. Or imagine there's a lift that keeps on going. Negative one, negative two, negative three. How low could you go under number land? What if everything was yellow? What if everything was flat? What if seven found a heptagon and wore it like a hat? What if one was made of jelly? What if two was made of cheese? What if beds were made of bubbles? What if pussies grew on trees? What if one was really massive? What if ten was really small? What if number land was upside down? Which way would we fall? What if you could spend forever in a world it never ends? On a wonderful adventure with your favourite number friends. There are many other questions you will find So say whatever pops into your mind There are many other mysteries that still remain unknown What if you thought of some questions of your own? <laughs> what a great game of hide and sheep But now it's time for sheep to sleep one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sheep ready for sleep. <laughs> or maybe not. There's always time for one more game. Let's roll. A three. OK, sheep, listen to me. I want you all in groups of three. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. Well done, sheep. It's clear to see. Six is the same as three plus three. <laughs> Let's roll. A two. OK, sheep, here's what to do. Arrange yourselves in groups of two. <laughs> One, two. One, two. One, two. Ah. Six is the same as three lots of two. I know that now, thanks to you. Listen now, I can't count more sheep. It's time for you to get some sleep. <laughs> oh, I see. Time for tricks. Arrange yourselves in a group of six. <laughs> One little sheep, two little sheep, and three little sheep. Four little sheep, five little sheep, and six little sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a moment. Was that the gate? It was. They're gone. I'm too late. <laughs> Look at that. Two lots of three. That's one too many for just one me. Or is it? Found <laughs> 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 you, sheep one, two and three. There you are, behind that tree. I found another. One, two, three. You gotta be smart to hide from me. 
One, two, three, that's three from me. One, two, three, and three from me. <laughs> One little sheep, two little sheep, and three little sheep. Two little sheep, five little sheep, and six. <laughs> Not again, you naughty sheep! Come back here! It's time to sleep! <laughs> oh no, they found three ways to run! And I thought counting sheep was fun! <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> To be six naughty sheep need six of me. <laughs> now listen up, you naughty sheep. It's definitely positively time to sleep. <laughs> If counting sheep sends me to sleep, counting blocks might work for sheep. Finally, bedtime. Ah. Here it is. Time to make some friends. Ah. One and another one is two. That's what magic mirrors do. They make another one of you. Two and another one is three. Mirror magic, as you see, makes another you and me. That's what magic mirrors do. They make another one of you. With magic mirrors making friends, the magic never ends. It's four. Each time one more than before, a brand new friend to take the floor. Four. And another one is five. Watch the magic come alive as one by one we all arrive. Five. And another one is six. One more number in the mix, a pal to join in all our tricks. With magic mirrors making friends, the magic never ends. With magic mirrors making friends, the magic never ends. With magic mirrors making friends, the magic never ends. Yeah! <laughs> With two magic mirrors, you can make friends twice as fast. If you think that's impressive... <laughs> Allow me. Square power! If two mirrors are twice as fast, Three mirrors will be even faster. If we use this mirror to copy that mirror, we'll have three mirrors. I thought magic mirrors only copied number blocks. Um, maybe we should stop. Roll the dice and let them spin. If you don't try, you'll never win. Keep going. I want to see. Oh. What happens? <laughs> Look at that! It's really weird! The whole inside bit disappeared! Hello? Hello? Nothing happened! I think they're broken! Oh. Oh. It's no one's fault, but we should try and fix them. Perhaps we could, um... Actually, I've no idea. Does anyone know how magic mirrors work? Or even where they come from? Um... Oh. I do! Twenty-one! Of course! If anyone knows about magic mirrors, it's the greatest number explorer of them all. Kind of you to say. I was exploring the coast when there was a strange noise and a flash of light. Was there really? Three? We broke these magic mirrors. Here's a thing we need to fix. This cube should not be made of sticks. I've seen that before. All 
magic mirrors come from a mysterious place known as Hexagon Island. <gasps> the hiding place of that rascally pirate, Captain Hexbeard. P -p 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 pirate Legend says the island is the hiding place of Captain Hexbeard's treasure. Treasure, you say? Six keys waiting to be won. Six faces turning into one. The first to come shall claim the prize. Hex marks the spot where treasure lies. We have to go to Hexagon Island. If magic mirrors come from there, we might find out how to fix them. Oh, yes. That's why we have to go there. Well, that and the treasure. Pirate treasure! <laughs> Try and stop me. Do your worst. The treasure goes to who's there first. Arr. Never mind who gets there first. How do we get there at all? Oh, I, could could sure. I think I can help with that. Oh. Oh. Behold, the Hexagallion, Captain Hexbeard's pirate ship. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Remember, a ship needs a good crew. You need to work together, stay together. Oh, look what I found. Is it treasure? Even better. Costumes. Oh, wait for me. Thanks, 21. I hope I'll make as good an explorer as you one day. Who knows? Maybe today is one day. <laughs> Come on, one. Set sail to Hexagon Island! Hi ho, off we go, we're in this boat together. We're off to sea, but who will be the first to reach the treasure? <laughs> 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 Is this a... Hexagon Island! You scurvy rogues! Arr! <laughs> oh, Captain Hexbeard! After my fabulous treasure, are you? Then race to the top of Cube Mountain, where Hex marks the spot. So exciting! <laughs> I warn you, though, you'll need to find a key to claim it. Maybe we can mend the mirrors after I... we find the treasure. I've hidden six keys in all. Enough for everyone. The first to come shall claim the prize. So what are you waiting for? Get hunting! Ha-ha! <laughs> a treasure trail, a thrilling race. I think I'm going to like this place. Captain Hexbeard's mark is in the middle of the map, so I should go inland. But first, I need to find a key. Uh, oh! First to the challenge, eh? Aye! Well, if a key ye'd win of me, make it whole again! Make what whole again? Oh! Easy! Uh, there! I don't think that's right. But why not? Ah, that should be on the same side. Uh, that's not quite right. Oh, yes! A white circle in a red square. Thanks, Reflection. Uh, there! Two halves make a whole cube. Now make it whole again! Again! <laughs> Right, let's see. There's half a circle on this piece, and a quarter of a circle here, and another quarter here. Hmm. Uh, oops, not quite. All the white bits are in the middle. One half and one quarter and one quarter make a whole. Yay! You're so sly, but so am I. Now, show me a cube. But how? That's not fair. <laughs> Hello? 
Anyone? Looks like it's just me. Oh, well. Best foot forward. Whoa! <laughs> Huh? Oh, I see! It spins around the middle. So if I stay in the middle... Whoa! <laughs> Easy peasy! Whoa, Dilly! Oh, I can't go round it. <gasps> Maybe I can. <gasps> jump it! Yes! But I'll never jump all that. Oh, I have to go left or right. But whichever way I go, the bridge won't be balanced. Oh, if only I could go both ways at once. Well, I can't go both ways. But we can! <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Out again and forwards. And out again and forwards. Oh, come on. Forwards. Wait, I can't go forwards. There's a gap. I could jump it, but if I jump, I'll fall into that gap over there. Hmm. We can both move inwards, towards the centre. Then we'll still be balanced. Now we carry on together. Thanks, friends. I'll take it from... Mind your step! Aha! Oh, no. No. No! No! It's impossible! <laughs> Why do I get the swamp? Come on, three. You can do this. You don't need anyone's help. Oh. Arr! Show me a cube. That's too tall and too wide, and also too deep. Two blocks on each side. Well, there's a cube, but it's not very tall. How big is too tall? Oh, I see. You mean two blocks tall and two blocks wide. Two blocks on each side. There, you big old face. Two blocks high and two blocks wide. But not two blocks deep. Your problem is you're too shallow. How dare you? Oh, I see. I need another four blocks in front. But there are no more blocks. Oh, yuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice tunnel. A square puzzle for a square pirate. How many squares can you see on this door? Um, one. Very good. But how many squares can you see now? Well, that's easy as well. One, two, three, four. Four! Uh, one, two, three, four. Four! One, two, three, four. Four? Oh, I'm sure that's right. Four squares, just like me. <gasps> but I'm a square, made of smaller squares. So I can see one, two, three, four. Four small squares and one big square. So that's five squares all together. Third time's the charm, matey. How many squares can you see? <gasps> I don't know! Arr! <laughs> Arr! No! Oh, dear. Up there! A treasure key! <gasps> My friends, they need help. If you stop to help them, Someone else may reach the treasure first. If I don't help my friends when they need it, no one's going to reach the treasure. Sometimes everybody needs a helping hand. Sometimes things don't work out quite the way you planned. With a friend to help you through, there's nothing you can do. Things can look much better when you put your heads together. Five plus one equals six. When everything seems hopeless and you need a new direction Stop and take a breath A moment for reflection oh. A half and a 
reflection of a half looks like a hole. Thanks, Five. Is this a key? When you see a friend in need, you can be a friend indeed. Things can look much better when you put your heads together. Five plus two equals seven. You don't have to be alone when you feel you're out of luck. If you find yourself a friend, they can help you get unstuck. Thanks, Five. Yes, things can look much better when we put our heads together. Need a hand? Yes. Please, help. Five plus three equals... Eight. Everyone feels bad sometimes and wants to scream and yelp. But never be too proud to tell a friend when you need help. Octocube. Two by two by two. Octocube. Pieces of eight. Pieces of eight. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd hurry if I were you. Ooh, it's too hard. Five plus four equals nine. nine. If you've been working hard all day and now you're feeling tired, a friendly face can lift you up and help you stay inspired. A square like me in every corner. There are nine little squares and one big square. That makes ten. Plus four squares, like me, that makes fourteen! Hooray! I hope that it was worth this song and dance. I hope it didn't make you miss your chance. I think that you will find it's always worth it to be kind. Life is so much better when we put our heads together. They'll be happy that you help them understand. Help your friends pull through. They'll do the same for you. Things will look much better when we put our heads together. One plus four equals five. Two plus three equals five. You lent us a hand. Now it's your turn to take ours. Five plus five equals ten. Climb aboard this rocket and I'll take you to the stars With a friend to help you through There's nothing you can do Sometimes everybody needs a helping hand I'm so glad to see you all Now we're back together, nothing can stop us Army hearties, you're close now Will you be first to claim my treasure? I've climbed the ladder to success. And I'm the first one here, I guess. Look! The treasure must be there. Hex marks the spot. I'm going to have to race you lot. <laughs> Swim for it! No, wait! Ah. <laughs> that happened to me! Does anybody have a key? Looks as if we have five. <gasps> we did it! We've beaten Captain Hexbeard! Using the keys the captain gave us. So why give us keys? Obviously, old Stoneface didn't think we'd be smart enough to beat the challenges. They were pretty hard. Some of them seemed impossible. But we beat them all when we started helping each other. Uh, uh, uh. That's why this bridge is not complete. There's one more challenge left to beat. Huh? <gasps> the only way to reach the treasure is for us to work together! Ha-ha! <laughs> You've solved my final riddle! You all are first to reach the middle! Wow! wow! Six keys waiting to be won! Six faces turning into one! Six faces turn into one cube! One, 
Look! It's working again! That cube looks like a giant one of those! In fact, this whole lake looks like a giant magic mirror! The hexahedron! My real treasure! The giant cube that powers every magic mirror in Numberland. What a beautiful sunset! I wish I had someone to share it with. Done, shipmates. I take my hat off to you. <gasps> Twenty-one! I knew you'd make a fine exploring team. <laughs> Together! <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, who's ready to set sail for home? <laughs> 